Welcome to Savi IT Solutions. Today we are discussing about programming in Java. Under this, we need to learn about operators. Now, operator is nothing but performing operation between two operands. So, it means that either addition or subtraction or multiplication, division, not only these different types of operators are available. We will discuss in the later. But initially what I need to say is operator is nothing but performing operation between operands. That is the main theme of that. So now the uh, in this topic we are learning about operators and types of operators. Up to assignment uh, increment by decrement operators we are learning in this video. Uh, remaining operators means conditional operators and bitways operators and special operators are learned in the next video itself. Okay. So operators are symbols that triggers an action when applied to C variables and other objects. Sorry not C variables, it is Java, okay, Java variables and other objects. The data items on which operators act upon are called operands. Now based on number of operands, so uh, let us take A plus B plus C is an operator and A, A and B are the operands uh, to perform addition between A and B. So here based on number of operands, the operators are classified into three types. One is unary operator second one is binary operators and third one is tenary operator okay unary operators those operators that require only single operand to act upon are known as unary operators simply we can say that performing operation on only one operand performing operation on only one operand is called unary operator the examples are increment by decrement operators second one is binary operators those operators that require two operands to act upon are called binary operators. Simply we can say that perform an operation on two operands. The examples are arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, assignment operator, conditional operator and bitwise operators. Okay. And the last model is tenary operators. These operators required three operands to act upon. So it is also called as performing operation between three operands. So the example is conditional operator represented with question mark and uh, single column. Okay. Now we go for next types of operators. Mm, the operators are classified into eight categories, arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, assignment operators, increment by decrement operators, conditional operator, bitwise operator and special operator. Up to five operators. In this video, we are learning up to five operators. Remaining three operators are learning in the next video itself. Okay. So, coming to the arithmetic operators, they are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and module. These are the arithmetic operators. Simply, we can say that multiplication symbol is in normal max is this, and division is in normal max is this, and module is no special thing in general mathematics but uh, instead of uh, the symbol uh, this is not available so we are using asterisk symbol as this so the symbol is available but the symbol is used for remainder so we are using ash is symbol. so how we are using it c is equal to a plus b c is equal to a minus b c is equal to a into b c is equal to a by b c is equal to a mod b these are the usages of arithmetic operators in the next way in the here we need to learn the program but I am not writing the complete program here in the practical section after completion of the operators in the practical section I will clearly explain the complete program but here I am telling you few things so how many variables are required means two variable three variables are required so they are int a comma b comma c and so performing the operation assign the values by taking scanner class or xyz so that in c is equal to a plus b after that we need to print the value of c secondly c is equal to a minus b and system dot out dot println subtraction c 
C is equal to A into B system dot out dot print ln multiplication C is equal to A by B division C is equal to A mod B system dot out dot print ln module C. like this we need to write a program and uh, creating the class and uh, creating the public static void main method and closing the class um, public static void ma main and closing that and import statement scanner what scanner of operator using everything should be done and next stage so the next one is relational operators greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to equal to not equal to or the uh, operators of relational relation is nothing but we need to check uh, greater or less or greater than equal to or less than equal to equal to not equal to so mathematically this uh, this symbol is used like this this symbol is used like this this is only equal to this is like this but these symbols are not available in any one of the keyboard so that we are using in this representation way so similarly here where we are using relation operators means in loop control structures and um, branching okay let us move into the little bit example L not more just we check simple condition if a greater than b system dot out dot print ln simple quotations a is greater than b we print this message that's it if a greater than equal to b system dot out dot print ln a is greater than equal to b similarly if a less than b we need to write we need to print system dot out dot print ln if it is else what we are not at all mentioning okay less than b so on we need to write remaining okay so the next one is logical operator logical and logical or and logical not logical and is represented with a double ampersand logical or is represented with two pipe symbols logical not is represented with logical not so where exactly logical operators are using checking two relations those relations are true or not okay so let us take p is one relation and q is one relation if we are applying p logical and q both the relations are true then it returns true okay logical or any one of the condition is true then it is true otherwise it is false okay logical not means true means false means true true means false like it we go okay so here here also we need to check if a greater than b and a greater than c so simply we can say that both the relations are true then only it is goes to true part so both the relations are true similarly second condition if a greater than b or a greater than c so what we need to print system dot out dot print ln any one or both the relations are true so finally if not a greater than b
the relation true will become false like this we are printing it when going for the going to the applications we will learn in a deep manner okay and the second one is next one is assignment operators assignment operator is nothing but plus equal to minus equal to star equal to division equal to slash equal to a module equal to we we represent a plus is equal to b a minus is equal to b a into is equal to b a division is equal to b a module is equal to b it can be represented like a is equal to a plus b only when these two operator operands are same then only the loss uh, assignment operators are used okay this can be a minus is equal to b is represented by a is equal to a minus b a into is equal to b is equal to a is equal to a into b a divided equal to b is equal to a is equal to a by b a module is equal to b is equal to a is equal to a module b so this is the way we are using assignment operators simply i can say that i will take two values and we need to find the values of that okay let us take a and b a is 10 and b is 20 after performing this operation a will become 30 and b will become 20 after performing this operation the new values of a and b are 30 and 20 so they performing minus automatically and assign to a so 10 and 20 will be reached when coming to this 200 and 20 when coming to this again 10 and 20 when coming to this remainder is 10 and 20 sorry mm. so think it when division is 200 by means uh, 10 by 20 is 10 absolutely module 10 more 20 is 10 so this is the output we are getting it so when coming to the program simply int a comma b and a plus is equal to b we need to print the values of a and b a is equal to plus a b is equal to same statement is repeated a minus is equal to b and write the statement same so a into is equal to b again we need to write the same statement a division is equal to b again we need to write system dot out dot print ln a is equal to plus a b plus b okay similarly a module b is equal to a module is equal to b and we need to print so you will get the output now uh, lastly increment by decrement operator incrementation means adding one value decrementation means decreasing one value simply we can say that add one and minus one again this increment or decrement operators are classified into pre increment by decrement and forced increment by decrement pre incrementation means the operator is represented like this okay first means after that we are assigning okay simply i can say that pre incrementation means first addition incrementation or decrementation done after that the value will be assigned when coming to first first value will be assigned then we incremented or decremented so simply it will be little bit difficult for you to understand but i am telling you a simple example that uh, we are using sim card the sim card have two types of accounts one is a prepaid account and second one is postpaid account prepaid account means first we need to recharge it and we need to use it okay first paid account means use after we need to pay same formula will be applicable here let us take simple example of a is equal to 10 and x is equal to a plus plus similarly a is equal to 10 y is equal to plus plus a what is the value of a and what is the value of x what is the value of a and what is the value of x so the value of a will be after incremented it is 11 so this is the first incrementation first we need to assign the value 10 is assigned to x so when coming to this after incrementation the value of a will become 11 
but it is for a pre incrementation means first incremented the value and assigned so living will be changed so you find the difference here so that is the pre and post incrementation or decrementation changes okay so now when going to the program simple we need to define a is equal to some value okay firstly we need to do a plus plus and we need to print the value of a if you put some variable that's very good x otherwise uh, this is a uh, first increment first x clearly i am writing first x mixed drive okay but uh, print ln first x okay similarly int pre x is equal to plus plus a again we need to print the value pre x similarly int first decrement x is equal to a minus minus so again we need to print the value of post decrement x similarly in pre decrement x minus minus a so pre dx this is the way we are writing the programs